On expected strong Ukrainian resistance, poor Russian equipment, and high death toll among Russian troops are all thought to be contributing to the low morale. It is unusual for such senior Russian officers as generals to be close to the battlefield, and Western officials believe that they have been forced to move towards the front line to deal with low morale among Russian troops. Russian forces are believed to be relying in part on open communication systems, for example, mobile phones and analog radios, which are easy to intercept and could give away the locations of high-ranking officers. A person inside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's inner circle told the Wall Street Journal that Ukraine had a military intelligence team dedicated to targeting Russia's officers' class. So far, Vladimir Putin had only referred to the death of one general, thought to be Major General Andrei Shukovetsky, in a speech soon after the start of the war. Russia says 1,351 soldiers have died since the war began in Ukraine, although Kyiv and Western officials say the number is much higher. Russia's lost generals. Lieutenant General Yakov Rezantsev was reportedly killed by a Ukrainian strike on the Chernobyka Air Base near the city of Kassel. He was promoted to Lieutenant General in 2021 and was commander of the 49th Combined Army of Russia's Southern Military District. He is said to have taken part in Russia's military operation in Syria. Ukraine Defense Ministry says another Russian general, Lieutenant General Yakov Rezatsev, was killed in a strike near the southern city of Kassel. General Rezante was the commander of the Russia's 49th Combined Army. A Western official said he was the seventh general to die in Ukraine and the second lieutenant general, the highest rank officer reportedly killed. It is thought that low morale among Russian troops has forced senior officers closer to the front line. In conversation intercepted by the Ukrainian military, a Russian soldier complained that Rezantsev had claimed the war would be over within, just, within hours, just four days after it began. Ukrainian media reported on Friday that the general was killed at the Chernobyka air base near Kassin, which Russia is using as a command post and has been attacked by Ukraine's military several times. Andrei Modichev commander of the 8th Combined Army. Andrei Modichev was killed by a strike in Chernobyka Air Base near Kassin, according to Ukrainian official. He was the commander of Russia's 8th Combined Army of the Southern Military District. His death was reported on 18th of March. Lieutenant General Andrei Modichev was reportedly killed by a Ukrainian strike on the same base Kassin as um, General Razantsev. Major General Oleg Nitya reportedly died somewhere near the city of Mariupol, a city of southeastern southeast Ukraine, which has seen some of the heaviest fighting so far. The Nationalist Azov Regiment claimed to have killed him. He was the commander of the Russian Army. Russian, he was the commander of the Russian Army 150th Motorized Rifle Division. A relatively new unit formed in 2016 and based in the Rostov region close to the Ukrainian border. Ukraine claimed that the unit was created in order to take part in a conflict in separate separatist controlled area in East, eastern Ukraine, although Russia denied that its military was involved in fighting there. General Mitsyev was the fourth general reportedly killed, leading some to ask why such senior members of the Russian military are so close to the front line. Analysts believe that around, around 20 generals are leading Russian operations in, in Ukraine, meaning that if all the reported deaths are confirmed, one-fifth of Russia's generals have been killed in action. Major General Andrei Kolesnikov of the 29th Combined Army was killed in fighting in 11, on 11th March according to official Ukrainian sources. The circumstances of his death were not given. After Koleshnikov became the third Russian general reportedly killed in Ukraine, 
One Western official told the press association that Russian army may be suffering from low morale, which is why high-ranking military officers are moving closer to the front line. Major General Vitaly Gerasimov, chief of staff of Russia's 41st Combined Army, was killed on 7th March outside the eastern city of Kharkiv, according to Ukraine's defense ministry. Kharkiv, close to the Russian border, has come under sustained attack from Russian forces. Ukraine's military released a recording of what it said to, was, was two Russian security service officials discussing Gerasimov's death and complaining that their source, their secure communication network, no longer worked in Ukraine. Gerasimov was involved in the Second Chechen Chen War, the Russian military operation in Syria, and in Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014. Major General Andrei Shukovsky, a deputy commander at the same unit as Gerasimov, was reportedly killed by a sniper on 3rd March. Like Gerasimov, Shukovsky was part of Russia's military operation in Crimea and in Syria. Unlike other generals, Shukovsky's death was reported in the Russian media and the Russian President Vladimir Putin confirmed in his speech that a general had died in Ukraine. On the front lines, it is unusual for such high ranking officers to put themselves in danger by getting so close to the battlefield and Western sources believe that they have done so in order to get some control over operations which have in some areas badly stored. Russia's military is also traditionally top-heavy, with officers often conducting day-to-day -day activities, say Mr. Muzika. Although this is starting to change, it could explain why generals felt the need to direct operations from the front. In recent years, there have been a big shift to force battalion commanders to think independently in a way that will give them freedom to make decisions, Mr. Muska said. But this was introduced only three years ago, so maybe it didn't properly have an effect yet on their performance. The details of the general's death are unclear and getting solid facts on the ground is difficult. With such high losses, some experts believe that the generals have not simply been in the wrong place at the wrong time, but that Ukraine is likely to be targeting top-level Russian officers.